the late 1960s and early 1970s saw the introduction of four invasive carp species, silver, bighead, black, and grass, into the United States. The prevailing belief is that these fish were brought in by fish farmers in Arkansas to maintain pond cleanliness. However, what is not widely known is that many municipalities also release these fish into water treatment plants to comply with federal water quality regulations. Subsequent floods led to the fish's dispersion into drainage ditches, following the water's course to nearby rivers. Over the past 50 years, these invasive carp have spread throughout the Mississippi River Basin and most of the central United States, extending from the upper Midwest down to Louisiana. The impact of the invasive carp species, particularly bighead and silver carp, which are the most widespread and fastest spreading of the four, can be devastating to native fish species. Being voracious filter feeders, these carp consume massive quantities of phytoplankton, which is a crucial food source for various native species. Their presence in an ecosystem has the potential to alter it drastically. Josh Tompkins, a fisheries biologist with the Kentucky Department of Fish and Wildlife, explained that these carp's consumption of phytoplankton creates direct competition for native fish such as buffalo, paddlefish, and gizzard shad. The same phytoplankton also serves as a source of nourishment for newly hatched sport fish such as bass. Intensive measures are underway to prevent the invasive carp from entering the Great Lakes, where they could potentially have a severe detrimental effect on the fishing industry, which is valued at approximately $7 billion. Commercial fishing has been identified as one of the most effective methods for controlling invasive carp populations and slowing down their spread. Several states, including Tennessee, are actively promoting commercial fishing to combat the invasion. Tennessee officials believe that commercial harvest is a vital strategy to safeguard their waters from the expansion and impacts of invasive carp.